Hello, welcome back to some more Law and Order. We're gonna continue on with episode three. Gotta see who killed the prostitute. I believe that's where we left off. Let's jump into it. Forensics? They didn't find much, but the burlap fibers they found on our Vic contain traces of something called atrazine. It's a pesticide. New York put it on the restricted list last year. Only licensed professionals can buy it. Pest control, farmers, landscapers. Detective Curtis. Benson, you remember the Mickey Trevino case? Yeah, that was Cormac's collar. The gun Trevino was using, he claimed to have found it hidden in the basement of his apartment building. Cormac was able to confirm. Here's a list of residents from 1998 onwards. Maybe you can do something with it. Got it. We'll meet you there. Logan tracked down that sex offender who violated his parole. His name is Patty Jackson. Get this. <coughs> He's working a landscaping job in Sugar Hill, two blocks from where our Vic was found. Your case just got a whole lot more interesting. Keep me posted. Sugar Hill. Patty Jackson, you're under arrest. For what? For what? You're in violation, Patty. Nah, nah, me and my P.O., we got it all worked out. My, uh, probation transfer got messed up, that's all. Well, there's our rust color. The van's got red priming paint all over it. I'll keep an eye on him while you search the van. Know what you're looking for? The fibers found on the victim were burlap. And we know the mangler likes to use zip ties and duct tape to bind his victims. We found some crystal meth on Wendy. She had a lock of hair taken and she had been cut. I'm thinking the killer used a knife to scare her and then he used it to cut a lock of her hair when he was finished. There should be some blood in the van. Uh huh. We got our guy pretty quick, didn't we? <laughs> Driving a red van around. I remember doing this. Circle objects. Select and grab them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Select them out. Find it. The good your search screen. Yes, I know. Okay, we're looking for. Is that like a broken capsule or something? All right. What is that? Zip tie. Is a zip tie? Where in the world do you see a zip tie in that picture? Uh, that's crystal meth. Okay, this dude's a meth head apparently. Okay, merlap and blood stain. All right, let's get to hunting. Is that meth? No. Okay. Is that a? What the hell is that? I forgot what I was looking for already. Hey, now just the uh, smartest. Burlap snack sack. I'm sorry, it's not a snack. Okay. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that meth right there? I don't think so, but fuck it. No, didn't think so. This is a pretty big place. There's a burlap snack. Set. I can't circle that. What is that? Too big, or do I just circle that? Dude, that's such a dude. Burlap sack right there. There we go. Burlap sacks of atrazine. Hope you got your certified applicator license mm. for that, Patty. That's a heck of a fine, otherwise. It's messed up, man. We found traces of that owner. There's some blood right there. What happened? Hey guys, I just circled that blood. I got okay. some blood I here. A triangle. Word of the wise, Patty. You kill a girl in your van, you should worry about cleaning the inside, not painting the outside. That's mine. I, uh, I cut myself on a hedge trimmer. That's a lot of blood for a hedge trimmer. <laughs> but yeah, you put a good point. You're gonna kill somebody in your van, you clean up the van first. Let me do uh, duct tape. I think I'm looking for duct tape. Yeah, duct tape. That's what I thought. And crystal meth. Duct tape. We'll see if the end piece matches up with any of the pieces found on Wendy. Oh. You know, if he was smart, he would uh, rip off some extra duct tape then if you're going to match it with the end of the duct tape. Um, that, look, uh, let's go over here because I don't think I went all the way out. Okay, apparently I did. I got to look for searching things. Make sure I can, can't look into anything like I did last time up here anything in that box can I open that box no can't open the ball god I got four crystal meth zip ties that's like that's all to left okay there's crystal meth in the zip ties is that a thing of zip ties right there no it's not it's not god I can't even make a circle apparently there's some zip ties zip ties could be used in this line of work We'll see if they're the same type as the ones found on the Mangler's other victims. <coughs> now we gotta find some meth. Meth, where are you? That's definitely not meth. I don't know why I even decided to circle that. 
uh, what's in the box? I want to look in the box. Look in the box. Ooh. This yes. is interesting. You wear a lot of jewelry, Patty? I made that. I sell them at flea markets and stuff. It's not a restricted item. Flea market and stuff. Way to look away. It makes you look more guilty, buddy. Uh-huh. That's some good, uh, what he said he sold. <laughs> Whatever. Whoa, looks like crystal meth. You trying to lose weight, Patty? That ain't mine. How the hell did you get in there, dude? All right, Patty, I've seen enough. You're coming downtown. You don't need to do that. I'll report on Monday, I promise. Save it for the judge. You gonna report on no Monday. You skip that on parole, man. I ain't trying again. Oh, you want me to do nine? I was one off. Dang. That's why I was trying to open stuff. Oh well. Oh, look at that interrogation time. Your parole officer says hi. Says he hasn't seen you in over nine months. Your apartment was almost empty. You staying somewhere else? Hotel maybe? I hate hotels. They remind me of the joint. You hate hotels. They remind you of the joint. How? How, how is that even comparable? Unless he was in like one of those high luxury prisons, I, I don't, I don't know, you know. But then again, I've never been to prison, so I can't judge about life in the prison. I've been in a hotel though, and it don't feel like prison or the joint, as he would call it. So what happened, Patty? Did Wendy fight back? Is that why we found her in Harlem instead of some swamp in Nassau County? Tell me this, smart guy. Any chance you ran into Wendy in Harlem in your brand new white van? I never saw that girl before, I swear. Never, huh? Yes, I'm challenging him. Obviously, there's too much stuff to connect it. Patty's a scumball. I'm <laughs> scumball. <laughs> He's a scumbag, not a scumball. And probably guilty of something. Jenny and Patty picked up Wendy. Jenny said Patty picked up Wendy. I'm not sure about that. Jenny said Patty was Wendy's regular customer. Logan said Wendy was connected to Ernest Limrose. Well, fuck me. That's not. We right. have a witness that saw you pick up Wendy Crane the night she was <sighs> killed, Patty. Okay, look, maybe she was in my van. I was in jail for a long time, you know? If I break the law, I'm in violation. That's why I lied. Sure. Okay, that's why you lied. That's why you lied, dude. Let's talk about the victim here. You saying Angelica Moore never got into your van. Can you think why a witness might have seen that happen? I don't know who you're talking about. Yes, I can, Holmes. And the reason I can is because Bank Rose said Patty is the mangler. I'm not sure about that. He is a victim. I mean, a suspect, but not a uh, not 100% guilty. So uh, Bank Rose saw Angelica getting into Patty's van. Bank Rose saw Angelica getting into. Patty's car. Oh, okay. That's like, why does it say the exact same thing? That's that one. So it's like, what? That makes no sense. Why would it be two right answers? We have a witness that saw Angelica Moore get into your van before you painted it. <sighs> We're not getting anywhere. Let's just book him for violating his parole and we'll charge him for the murders when forensics gets back to us. No, wait! Angelica wasn't my fault. It wasn't even my idea to pick her up. It was his. Honest. Who's his? Who is the Patty, accomplice? Patty, if you had an accomplice, now's the time to tell us. This guy, he had a thing for Angel, okay? He tried to pick her up once and something happened. What was his name? I don't know, okay? It was just a one-time thing. He gave me a name and told me to bring it to his place so they could party, okay? Great. Why don't you show us where his place is? Uh, you know, actually it was, uh, <laughs> it was in my hotel room. One of those no-tell motels. I don't even remember which one. Nah, dude, I don't believe you. You changed your story. I mean, come on, quit changing your story. Plus, you said you don't like hotels. It just reminds him of prison. Obviously. Enough, Patty. I know cops at Rikers who owe me a favor. They can make your visit there really uncomfortable. I'm telling the truth, I swear. You said this guy tried picking up Angelica before, but something happened. Any chance he was five foot six? Arab descent? I already said too much. You tell us who he was, right now, and we can work out a deal with the <coughs> DA. You wait, and you go down alone. All alone. Let's try this again. Five foot six, Arab descent. 
You know him. The Arab guy. Who is he? Or are you so stupid you never even got his name? He ain't Arab. He's Pashtun. He don't like to be called Arab. Okay. We'll call him Pashtun. I think I want a lawyer now. First smart thing you've said so far. <laughs> Way to open up the whole time and be like, yeah, now I want my lawyer. I told you almost everything. All the important stuff came out of my mouth, but now I want my lawyer. That was great. Look at that. Increase my detective rank. I don't know if that affects anything. But you know what? It's good to see and read that. Makes me do makes me feel good about myself, you know, when it comes to this game. Is it the court time? Oh wait, we gotta go check things out. That's right. I knew Gondapur was hiding something. We have no physical evidence tying Gandapur to any of the murders. Believe me, if Gandapur's involved somehow, I'd love to nail him. But we don't have nearly enough for a warrant. Find a connection between him and Jackson. Sorry, but that's the best I can do. Fine then. Get you. Patty's parole officer was able to get us his employment file and several other records from the landscaping company where he worked. You think Gondapur was one of Jackson's customers? The landscaper he worked for had clients all over Long Island. It's possible. Patty Jackson placed a call from his work phone to David Gondapur on October 20th. The same day Gondapur paid $227, which Jackson collected. Looks like we found our paper trail. Look at that. Mr. David Gondapur, we have a warrant to search this property for evidence relating to the murders of Wendy Crane and Angelica Moore. Very well, please, come inside. Shall I have some iced tea, mate? Actually, we'll start with the garden shed, if you don't mind. When's the last time you were in the shed, Mr. Gondapur? I... I suppose I am in and out quite often. I like to do some of my own gardening. It, uh, it relaxes me. Mr. Jackson and I have become fast friends as a result. He is quite talented. I'll keep an eye on Gondapur while you have a look. Look at two and one. Look at that. Two and one. To do two of these in one episode, you know he likes to garden, and I kind of did one iced tea. Well, maybe not iced tea. If you got some iced coffee, man, throw it my way. Curtis over here just like, nope, ain't getting nothing. Select a magnifying glass. Yeah, well, we just did this. Is that some more zip ties? I don't look like zip ties. Okay, shovel, bloody tool. Okay, we can probably find all that duct tape. The deodorizer. I have no idea what that is. Another burlap sack. Well, that's easier. There's the burlap set. Oh, there's a bloody tool. I'm trying to put a name to that? I can't. I can't do it. Come on now. I know Found I can't some draw blood a circle. on this cutting tool. Could be Wendy's. I know I can't draw a circle, but come on. Uh, was there a shovel? I don't think there was. Duct tape, shovel. There's some small shovels, but the pitcher was a big shovel. And whatever the hell that thing is supposed to be. There's a leaf blower. Or some duct tape. More duct tape. Same as the kind we found in Patty's van. There's another shovel. Alright. Oh crap. I was wanting to click on that, man. That's some big zip ties. Now that's one of those garden things you put over it. Like rose bushes and stuff. Oh, we got a fan, got a hammer. There's a big shovel right there. No surprise to find a shovel here. But if any of the dirt found on it matches the soil in which the Mangler victims were buried, that'd be powerful physical evidence to convince a jury. That's right. That's what we're trying to do, convince that jury. Put this man in jail. For all the murders he's committed on these women. What is a deodorizer? I've heard of it. There's a zip tie. I've heard of it. Zip tie. Same brand, same color as we found in Patty's van. Forensics may even be able to tell if they're from the same store-bought pack. There you go, that. Same pack, that'd be crazy. Um, What am I looking for again? I can never remember. Oh, another sack. I've seen it. It's over here. Let me go back down. I think you can see it better down here. No, I can't see a damn thing. So we're going to go over here. While we go over here, I'm going to look something up. I'm going to look up a deodorizer. I'm going to feel so stupid when I see it, most likely. Keep going. Keep going. There it is. Right there. Oh, it was on top. Oops. What? Okay. Why is that not hit? I highlighted. There it is. Circle. More burlap sacks of atrazine. The shed would make a perfect place to assault a victim. It's hidden, inaccessible. No way the nearest neighbor could hear anything. 
Ooh, you see that? Uh, deodorizer. Looked it up. Doesn't really help me. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's cool. We got a little tool back in the tool belt. No. Uh, these pictures don't help. It just looks like a bottle or something. I've seen a bottle up here. As we do this, like, one of these kind of. That can't be it because there's a one just like it. Right there, it kind of looked like it. No, of course not. Here. Fuck me. Uh. <coughs> That deodorizer. Son of a bitch. You know what? I'll be right back. We're back. I found it. And uh, it was right here. See? Look. Don't know how I didn't see it. It's definitely nothing that I looked in the pictures, but you know. Air it's freshener. Okay. Would be the same type used in Patty's van to hide the smell of decomp. Forensics will be able to tell me if it's a match. Also, decomp. De deodorizer. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. So deodorizer is like an air fresher. That's my guess. I could be wrong. I could be right. I don't know. I just looked it up. And I seen my cat stuff. So maybe. Okay, so we're at court. Mr. Gondapur, where is your counsel? I choose to represent myself in this matter, Your Honor. Your Honor, Mr. Gondapur has ample resources with which to hire a whole team of lawyers experienced in defending clients charged with capital crimes. Actually, Your Honor, my alleged co-conspirator and I wish to be tried together. We will be co-counselors, Your Honor. Your Honor, we cannot have one defendant putting another on the stand. Mr. Gondapur, are you and Mr. Jackson willing to be held responsible for your knowledge of court procedures, your ability to adequately cross-examine and communicate your side of the story efficiently and effectively? We are, Your Honor. Then I see no problem with you representing yourself pro se. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. <laughs> He's not even saying anything. He's not gonna say a word. Uh, man. not guilty? Well done, Mr. Jackson. The rest of you will see you at trial. <laughs> okay. I've got you. It doesn't take much imagination to see what's going to happen here. They'll each point the finger at each other and create enough reasonable doubt, and both of them will walk. And acting as their own defense will give them total access to each other. Plenty of time to get their story straight. Yeah, but Gandapur is a shark. He'll figure out how to put this all on Jackson somehow while he walks. Then get Jackson to roll on him first. Jackson's a sex offender on parole accused of murdering eight women. What can we offer him other than life in prison? A chance to tell his side of the story without Gandapur pulling the strings. Shoot for the moon. If that doesn't work, divide and conquer. That's going to do it for today. Um, when we come back, we will hit up the court session. I don't know how long it's going to take. That's why I'm taking a break right now. Because the court sessions usually take a while to do. So, But it looks like it's going to be interesting. Because we're going to be going against Jackson and the Gandapar. They're going to be representing each other. Very unique. I like that idea. So that should be fun. So this is me signing off. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.